Flesh Royal. Tell them to get in here and watch some of the best StarCraft action in the entire world. It's Classic Process, a Dark versus Classic in the final Game 7 of this Round of Four. One player advances to continue their dreams here in the SSL. One will not. Dark, Classic, who's it going to be? Let's get into Game number 7 and find out. Here we are on our very big two-player map, Galactic Process, down in the bottom left. The Zerg player bringing it back, bringing it to game number seven. It is dark. It is dark. The lights are off. The map tile set is dark even still. Let's see uh, what the fan has to say. Dark in the finals. Isn't that obvious for everyone? It's not obvious for Classic. He is the blue Protoss player on the upper right-hand side. Galactic Process. He too has fans that want to talk about him. Let's see what they say here. It's like classic, the Protoss himself coming back. Look at this, today. guys. We have a gold base being taken by Dark. Oh, man. And uh, you could see the aggression be really piled on very, very fast. Classic has been so consistent with the scouting, so he is going to know something's up. And he should be prepared for this, but this could get really, really crazy very fast. Now let's talk about this map. It's a newer map, so you guys might not be familiar with it. There's a way to run all the way around the side of the map and get some harassment on those corner bases uh, with some destructible rocks there. There's also two Zelnaga watchtowers uh, in the upper and lower parts of the map, as well as lots and lots of destructible rocks that allow you to get between these bases that are otherwise very difficult uh, to navigate to very long... Um, processes by ground, but uh, <laughs> that, that, that's not a drone, Valdez. <laughs> He's trying to join the Zerg army. They're not letting him, though. He's not defecting, like, man. Can, can I mine from this base? I like gold minerals, too. <laughs> I mean, I like gold minerals as well as the next drone, but not when it's right in the middle of a bunch of slimy bugs. So he's going to get out of there. <laughs> he got away <laughs> with it. bring it home. It's the great escape, man. Bring it home to his wife, that gold mineral. That's, that's He's going to like propose to the other probe. He's going to propose to her. Ah. And gold minerals <laughs> and all. Well, how is Classic going to respond to this? At is least he he's got it to... early on. So yeah, you can't just start. let a Zerg player have that base. Not only is it very far forward and difficult to defend, but if there is early pressure here, it's up to Dark to defend it. So Dark is not going to go ultra aggressive just yet. He's taking a third base and uh, getting both speeds, the Zergling speed and the Overlord speed. So I guess he just wanted to get that gold base really fast, and he's very confident that Classic can't really do anything about it on this map. Well, and also you can see Classic kind of hanging his head in his hand at the end of the last game, also voting these new maps towards the end just because they are newer, maybe less practiced, maybe less uh, knowledgeable about how exactly uh, to uh, you know punish. Uh, these uh, these early expansions. Now, uh, the positioning of that gold base on the map is such that not only is it protected by all three of those destructible rocks that makes the path by land very difficult to harass it, but if Classic wants to go for it, his army will be forced to commit to it. So it's very difficult to retreat once you commit to pushing that far out on Galactic Process. So Dark is getting a little bit scared right now because he scouted the whole base and saw no tech. The Stargate is on the right side of the map, and oh. Dark is only going to scout it now. He immediately starts two spores, but the, the Oracle is really fast. It could get to that base and get some kills. Oh, he redirects it, though, towards the main. No, no, now he's going back to the gold. Uh, it's going, like, in the middle here. 
I guess he's just trying to scout and see exactly whether or not there is a third or fourth base. Uh, the Spore is up there and it will be able to push this Oracle away. If Queens had been there, that Oracle might have died, but even still, uh, you know, three, three drones and lots and lots of scouting. So uh, the burden here for Dark is to hang on. He's been scouted in a somewhat vulnerable position, but there might just be a way for him to hold if Classic isn't familiar enough with this map or with the uh, opportunities to uh, try to harass and put the early pressure on. So we do have Classic taking this third base. He's kind of given up on, you know, killing much at the third, especially with the Sport. He's going to send this Voidry out. I think this is just to, you know, clear up the Watchtower, clear up some of those uh, Overlords on the bottom side of the map, and just reduce the vision and map presence of Dark here. Yep. Put that pressure on. Uh, early Void Rays, very, very common. We're seeing them a lot here tonight. And uh, you can see immediately, as soon as Dark scouted that Void Ray out of the Zelnaga Watchtower, immediately pulled back all of his overlords. And that means the map, for the most part, very dark for Dark. Can't see what's going on. He's living in a dark world, that's for sure. This is also a really interesting. I, I, I really like maps like Galactic Process because they have like very unique thing, like those shielded rocks, like the rocks that are covered uh, by smoke on either side, so you can't hit them at range without something to scout them. Uh, it's just very, very interesting constructions there. We'll have to see uh, whether or not those actually do affect all that much. Uh, three bases for both sides, and that means the Classic's actually in a decent spot. Classic chooses game number seven to go charge. <laughs> He, he got an earlier forge than he has in any other game, and I think he wants to get very early plus one and plus two and go charge the Archon as his composition. This is really going to throw Dark for a loop, and it would be fantastic if he had a lot of Banelings, which he does. He's getting, I, well, he doesn't have it yet, but he's getting Banelings speed, so he's preparing for it. It's going to be interesting when these two uh, armies do clash and if Dark can kind of, you know, scout this out and be prepared for this kind of tech. Elucidating his phoenixes to get that exposure and uh, exploration, scouting, mm. keep calling it exploration. Exploration. But, uh, this is a, uh, a banelingless drop overlord. We'll see if classic, oh, and he does! <laughs> MVP overlord, beautiful splits there, but something tells me classic's gonna that. figure this out. Well, he hasn't figured it out yet. He's like running those probes all the way to the Zerg base. Oh my god. Uh, okay, well, I guess that's the most effective Banelingless Overlord, nice fake there. I think Classic realized that there towards the end. Even pulls back his shuttle, so I don't know if he just hit that F2 key and brought everything back, but that does take the pressure all the way off Dark with just a fake Overlord drop. Yeah, it really does. The charge is about to finish up here. It's at 10 seconds left over, and uh, he's getting Storm too. So, you know, the Storm can deal with the Banelings, but generally if you have a lot of Chargelets, they're going to run into the Banelings first. It's very hard to, to micro that entire uh, army, but the Storm is going to be good in general. Do you have another Baneling drop coming into the third base? Yeah, we'll see how jaded Classic is here. He didn't... Uh, oh no, he guesses wrong! And it's Dark that's going to be able to rain down destruction with nine probe kills off of that Baneling drop. Nice bit of damage, and, and Classic is not getting any harass damage done with his with his drop down in the bottom, and it's totally scouted by Dark. He has units in position already. And because of the smoke around those rocks, you can't see them being broken down. So out of nowhere, out of the dark, Dark will explode into Classic's base. There might not just be enough to defend it. Here, Here we go, Dark all the way in there, and Classic immediately starting to panic, bringing out his entire army all the way over. Fantastic move It'll by Dark. Back, yeah. That's basically sniping plus two for free. And Dark gets his own plus two totally on time, you know, totally safe here. And uh, Dark is easily just able to back off. He's like, oh, okay, yeah, you defended, but I got your plus two now. Yeah, that gold base has been up forever for Dark, and the fourth base is actually now just getting saturated. Dark able to harass both the back door and now the front door here. Lots and lots of Ravagers, lots of uh, just Zerg out there on the map. You can finally see him working down these shielded rocks. Here Rolling in a bunch links. of main links. Oh my god, probes were pulled, and nice storms there will successfully defend against so many Banelings. We got a huge wall here at the front and a bunch of overcharges, but this is so many Banelings once again. The Cybernex Core is going to go down. Going to force him to 
remake that at the wall. The and bag. all the while, you know, Dark is just, he has so much pressure on the map. This might be the first time that Classic gets some harass damage done. Oh, and he should be able to snipe this hatchery if he just commits to it. Otherwise, just a lot of drones going to go down, pulling back all of these Zerglings here. But uh, this will get cleaned up eventually. Classic, you know, kind of goes without saying he has a massive army here. Let's see how many Immortals he's got eight. And he has six High Templar with Storm. What does Dark have at this point? A bunch of Ravagers, Banelings, and Lings. If Classic attacks now, he actually might be able to kill Dark before any of that Hive Tech gets out. It is a lot of Lings, so he has to be careful, especially with this much creep. But uh, still a very, very strong army here from the Protoss player. Well, and Dark is actually just going to uh, not quite max out, but just spam that Z key. Hit up a bunch of Zerglings, Banelings, and okay, well, those didn't do anything. But he's successfully keeping Classic inside his base. Now, that's not necessarily a great thing because Classic is going to be able to have a, uh, a monumental army, 122 army supply. And I don't know if Dark, if he just gets exploded on, if he can really deal with that, continuing his warp ins off the back, but finally should be able to, uh, to deal with that. Dark has control of most of the map. But we Classic go has a huge army. Another great storm there. A lot of those banglings going down. And they will all fall. The Nexus the dies. Nexus gets the, uh, gets That's the thing about destroyed. that. You know, even if he's not getting probe kills, he's going to kill the Nexus. And now Classic in a really strange spot. He might just go for an attack at this point. But look at how many banglings are on the map as well. And he does have to walk up and down high ground to make it all the way to the Zerg bases. So see if this is something that works towards Dark's favor. Now, Adrenal Glands will most likely not be up for this big push from Classic. He's trying to walk around the side to get into an angle on that gold, but this may not be enough. Now, I'm looking for observers. If there were burrowed Banelings, uh -oh. oh, but a huge run by because that wall is not tight, and that means that a lot of Classic base could be in trouble. But with that Defiler Mound going down and so many Immortals here, will this be enough Banelings? Great storms there to block it, and Dark could be in a little bit of trouble. Really good storms, and his composition is so good with the Archons in the front to eat up so much of the Baneling damage. That's what I was talking about in the last game. He's able to squeak it out in this one. And even though he's taking some damage back at home, as you said, is Dark ever going to be able to deal with this army? A big revelation here, but this is actually a concave that Dark might be able to work with. Lots of Banelings going in that do get some decent hits. Uh, that base going down was not terrible for Dark because it was completely mined out and it was an early taken gold base. But still, Dark in a little bit of trouble. Zerglings might not cut it against this Archon heavy, Zealot heavy uh, uh, comp. But now, oh man, Classic might just get surrounded. Big Storm's coming out, but how many does he have? This game is about to go absolutely insane because Classic is not mining. He is all in from here. He's not remaking a Nexus. Bailing hits, rolling in, and they actually do catch a couple of those uh, Immortals towards the back. Dark trying to maneuver his army away here, but Storm's over the wall. Could they catch it? And they will really softening up those grade. Ravagers. And that boy getting into the mix as well. So they're not armored units yet. <laughs> nope, and the Ravagers just running around. What's the rest of, uh, of uh, Dark's army doing? He's just maxing out on, uh, on Ling Bling, and it's, it's not going to be enough continual Storm. How many of those are there? Just even like two, three more left over. He still has five High Templar and they're constantly regaining that energy. It looks like he's got maybe two or three storms left over. He's gonna slowly elevate her down here. Just be very careful with the Sight Templar at this point in time. Keeping those immortals alive, literally living up to their name. Uh, as this push is super solid for Classic, uh, you can just see the army supply there, 104 to 82, and it's going to start dropping here with big storms on all these Zerglings, Banelings all running in. The Immortals will finally get picked off there towards the back with the Banelings running in, but there might just be too much Protoss. It's starting to drop oh, there. Oh 40 man. supply for Dark, 50 supply for Classic. It's so close. He's trying to hold on here, Those but can he? The Immortals are still alive, and there's no more links left over, and there's still nothing to deal with that Void Ray. Okay. He's going to have to kill the Void Ray with his corrosive vials or just that queen. Zergling's running back in the back. Oh, he's going to get us around. Oh, my God, Dark might do it. And he's going to kill off my vocal cords at least at the end because this game is so insane. Eventually, that uh, Void Ray does go down. And with Zerg 
units streaming across Galactic Process. Dark might just be able to do it. I think he's done it. At this point, there's no third Nexus. That was the all-in push. There was no going back from that. There is an Oracle left over, but Dark, he still has an economy. He can still produce stuff. You can't say the same about Classic here. And the wall's broken down on that left-hand side of the base, which means Dark can get all those Zerglings right on top of the Protoss army. Ravagers ravaging everything, and Dark punching his ticket to the grand finals of the SSL. There's only 28 army left here for Classic, and he might not be able to hang on for much longer. Unbelievable game this has been. Classic, you can see that he doesn't want to leave. He's getting the information now that basically tells him that there's no way for him to come back into this game. Now, to be fair though, the supplies on both sides are very, very low. It's 30 workers versus 40 workers and 30 army versus 40, almost 50 army now. So it's not like this game is totally over for Classic, but especially since he's been so unwilling to rebuild his third base, his economy is actually just so bad. It's just that if, if there's anything to deal with these Archons at all, at any point in this game, then Classic cannot win. He's going to try to push, actually, oh, into this. Oh, no. Sorry, Classic. Nice uh, slowing field there on the bay The probe's oh, no. in there. <laughs> it's probe genocide, Valdez. It That's looks gonna like it. any That's second GG. now. GG. GG. Dark He's has done it. Done it. He has shut the lights out on Classic and will advance to the SSL Grand Finals for the second time. What an unbelievable series this has been, man. You can see the emotion on Classic's face right now. You can't even believe it. The same for Dark. He's done it. He's gone to the finals once again. And he should be feeling good about getting there and doing his best after taking a best of seven series against this crazy good Protoss in Classic. I mean, when Classic closes his eyes, that's all he's going to see is the darkness that he, he just had to deal with for a seven-game <laughs> series. Dark. He is all... He, he did his hardest. He fought his heart out all the way through every single game. There was no game that he just rolled over and died in. There were several games that he just looked so dominant, Dark couldn't deal with him. But in the end, it is Dark's tenacity, that early gold base that he took that was really unpunished there by Classic, using creative strategies, and in the end, able to punch his ticket to the Grand Finals. Classic still can't believe it. He's kicking himself. Not just for that last game, but the one before it, too. We talked about the control mistakes. He's going over in his mind all the games that he lost right now. And Getting after this series, I'm sure he's going to be afraid of the dark. That's for sure. Get, getting his, uh, his Bible thump off.